to? Wait, little kitty. Don't jump in it. Oh, little kitty, that was just a mirage. There is no water. But kitty thirsty. I understand. After all, we were evolved that way. All living things need water. Hey, wait a minute. That's an interesting question. Hello, friends. I'm sure just like little kitty, even you must have felt cranky when you are super duper thirsty. But have you ever wondered why do we feel thirsty or what causes this feeling of thirstiness in the first place? So, in today's episode, let's dive into the reason behind this process and answer the exciting question, why do we feel thirsty? Zoom in! We living beings are very blessed as our Mother Earth has gifted us with a variety of natural means that help us to survive. But amongst all of them, the most essential element that contributes to our existence is water. Yes, my friends, we are all aware of the fact that a human body is made up of 50 to 75 percent of water that has many benefits, such as it provides strength and nourishment to vital body organs. It enables the smooth functioning of the bones. It helps to digest our food and keeps the mouth, nose and eyes moist, regulates body temperature and it is also present in lymph, a fluid that is a part of your immune system which help you fight off illness. But the most important question is, if the water is already present inside our body and that too in large volume, then why do we feel thirsty? Well, it is because the amount of water present in these organs keeps on fluctuating as we lose it while performing actions such as running, cycling, pooping, etc. in the form of sweat and excreta. Not only that, but you also lose water through evaporation when you inhale and exhale the air throughout the day as the inner layer of your lungs is covered with moisture. So, when we keep losing the inner water, it eventually leads to dehydration and we start to notice initial signs such as the dry mouth and your urine becomes darker as your body tries to retain more water. Then, it slowly starts to severely affect your health and can have an impact on your mood, level of energy, blood pressure and can also lead to cognitive impairment that affects your brain's function. Not only that, when you are dehydrated, your brain tissues can literally shrink in size because of lack of water. But fortunately, as soon as your body detects the low level of water, the thirst center of the brain is located in the hypothalamus that regulates the concentration of sodium in your body with the help of blood vessels, detects this change and urges you to drink water ASAP. And that's the reason we quench our thirst. But remember my friends, just like dehydration, overhydration or hyponatremia caused due to the overconsumption of water in a shorter amount of time can be an issue as well and can lead to water intoxication. During hyponatremia, a person may suffer from headaches, vomiting, seizures and in rare cases can be fatal as well. So, my dear friends, it is very vital to drink the right amount of water at the right time. Trivia time! Did you know 
drinking water can help you lose weight by increasing your metabolism, which helps burn calories faster. Also, it is estimated that the average amount of water you need per day is about 3 liters, which count up to 13 cups for men and 2.2 liters, which is approximately 9 cups for women. But it varies from person to person, the environment they are in and the activities they undertake. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Huh? Water! Water! Yay! Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs>